Hello and welcome to Center for Victory's podcast of your best day yet. At Center for Victory, we're here to help unlock, reinforce, and enrich relationships through personal and professional development. My name's Eric Guy. I'm the Chief Victory Officer here at Center for Victory, here with one of my faves, our newly, um, <laughs> uh, I guess newly, what would I say then? I'm missing a word there. Really? All right. Title. Newly, de- yeah, title designated or newly designated yeah, chief funny. joy officer, my daughter, Faith Guy. Um, in this episode, we're going to be talking um, about the concept of, of time in. Mm-hmm. And all this month in February, we've been talking about how to get your heart right. And one of the ways that you came up with, I asked you to, to be on the show again. And you said, hey, look, I think we need to share this concept. And I would absolutely agree um, you know, we talk about the whole idea of time and you hear a lot of parents, mm-hmm. right? Talk about this whole idea of time out. You need time out, you need time out, time out, time out. And, and well, I don't know the easy way to say it. That's dumb. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it, nice. it, you know, people, people say, Hey, look, you know, that's a good way to train people, but really all your training is, is the, the child, mm-hmm. uh, in this case, you know, to go off on their own and, and regulate themselves through their behavior. You're reinforcing that, right? And the, the concept of time in, and you're going to give some great examples, <laughs> is to help regulate that person through the relationship, not through the behavior, right? And, you know, I always give this example, like, you know, if your mother started acting up, you know, what would happen if I actually drug her over to the corner and put her nose in the corner? I don't think she would appreciate that very well. She wouldn't Um, Yeah, uh, she's tough like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, that's what we need, this concept of coming together and helping regulate each other, mm-hmm. right, through connection and through relationships. And that's really what we're all about. And I think that's why a lot of our stuff works so well. But... Uh, I'll ask you, because you, you were on the other end of it. You definitely got it from, um, you know, we always try to do it with the, the you and your brother. Yeah. But the whole idea of time in, explain in your words, you know, not my geekiness, but um, like explain it. in your words what this whole idea of time in means uh, to you. Um, I think in the concept of parenting, it's kind of investing... Um, vulnerability into your child so that's a really hard topic to deal with it's vulnerability because I feel like a lot of people just kind of beat around the bush with it or they're afraid they don't trust people like that's a very common thing in our society right now but I think it's really important to be vulnerable but in order to understand your emotions you have to start finding I guess like understanding regulations of other people and understanding others emotions so um, I always think of the when we had family meetings that's my, that's my idea of time in. So when I was maybe not making the best decisions or not thinking, my mindset wasn't very clear. They used to, we used to have family meetings. We were in the kitchen and um, we always just like talked it out. And that was so helpful for me, especially being an external processor. I think that was so beneficial to build awareness around, oh, this is maybe something I was feeling and I didn't understand that until now until I had the effective communication to start realizing that, hey, this is what I'm thinking, and this is what other people could be thinking. So I think it's, in overall, just an awareness around your emotions and understanding situations a little better. Yeah, and how we regulate those emotions. That's the whole idea of of a time in. Like, Mm -hmm. if, you know, again, it really sounds crazy to think if somebody's in emotional distress... Like, we would never do that as adults, mm. but we do it to kids all the time. But we do we do, do it to each other as adults mm. uh, sometimes. And it, it could be, it could actually look more caring than that. Because sometimes when you hand somebody even a Kleenex, if they're upset and you just hand them a Kleenex, you know, that might be seen as a great gesture. But what mm. you're really doing is saying... Sometimes, hey, look, I, I'm not comfortable with your, your crying or your hystericalness mm-hmm. right now. Can you just kind of yeah. shut it down with this it's tissue? It's definitely, yeah, and it's definitely more indirect. I feel like when um, when we're dealing with children in time out, like time out kind of situations, you're teaching them to start you know, repressing that emotion, and you're not allowing them to feel it. And I think with adults, that's just kind of instilled from the beginning is you're just trying to push that emotion away, mm-hmm. even with the tissue. Yeah. 
And, and that, that again, that's the whole concept of time in is helping that person regulate through the connection with us and not on their own. Yeah. Because if you if they do it on their own, this is where you know things like addictions and things like this happen because uh, I didn't have a person. Now I'm onto a thing, and mm-hmm. that thing could be, you know, that could be alcohol, that could be drugs, that could be whatever. I mean, that could be. Um, you know, some people, it doesn't even look that bad. It could be exercise. They just exercise mm-hmm. too much and they regulate through that because they don't know how to regulate through that relationship and that connection. All the stress that we're experiencing now in our society, we're getting more and more dysregulated. We're having less mm-hmm. and less of that, you know, time in with, with everybody. But, you know, that's a little tangential. Yeah. But uh, the second question, how did... And I know you spoke a little bit to it, but how did the concept of really time in benefit you specifically? Um, I think it I think it helped me just kind of start building awareness and having that kind of a little bit of building that emotional intelligence around my own feelings, around how I function and um, I guess kind of make things make sense to my my cool brain that's really funky fresh. But uh, <laughs> I think um, time in was beneficial because. You and mom, I always knew you were there because it wasn't, you were, you weren't pushing me away. It was like, we're here to support you and want the best for you, but here's something that we've noticed. It was very much a positive thing that had maybe like constructive criticism at most, I guess, but it was just kind of, Hey, we're here to support you. Here's something we've noticed. Mm -hmm. And it helped to having Josiah because Josiah is completely different than me when like we process information. So seeing him process helped me understand how I was different and how it was still okay that I processed different, but that I needed to start understanding that I not everyone thinks like I do. Yeah, and um, well, I think you're going to answer, so I'll wait and ask uh, <laughs> later. But uh, you know, last question here: How would it be beneficial for uh, this whole concept of time, and how would it be beneficial to other people listening um, for their relationships and their family life? I mean, I think it's extremely beneficial. You. You want to encourage people to put time into their relationships and in order to understand someone and get to know someone, you put the time in. There's no other way to explain it. It's It would be trying to get to know someone, but you just like don't hang out with them. Mm-hmm. That That's not a thing. You can't do that. You grow with people. I really feel truly strong about that, that you grow with people and you encourage people and that's how you get to know them. And I think a lot of life's value comes from other people's stories. And you wouldn't get to know that unless you really got to the depth of where they come from. What's their why? How, what makes them that eagle in your life? Yep. Yeah. So in 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 the whole nature of, of competition, you know, I'm a little bit competitive. <laughs> Just a little. And I'm going to put you on the spot here. Um, who would you say is better at timing? Your mother oh, or no. not? Knowing that I'm sitting right next to you. <laughs> Um, I'm indifferent. <laughs> I'm gonna say Josiah because he's the most competitive out of all of you. <laughs> no, I would. I He'd would, pop I'm through go, that phone right now. I'm, I'm going. Um, I'm I think gonna you, answer that for for you, and I believe your mom does it because well, she does it for for me, and it, it's not about competitive. Yeah, just, you, you both you kind of you bring different things to the yep. table. It's beneficial because like, mom and I are two just giant goofballs all the mm-hmm. time. And then you bring, like, a different perspective, and then there's, like, science behind it and logic. I'm like, oh, I guess I have to listen now, you know? I can't really deny the fact that it makes sense. So, I don't know. You both, you uh, are a good team. Yeah. So, it's... Um, it's we, it's, yeah. I would agree with that, yeah. I mean, it's not about... I was just joking about that competition <laughs> thing, but I mean, we are science. really a good team. And, uh, you know, she's definitely who I like to do time ends with, so... Um, Gross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, you, you did mention one thing before we go on. Um, you, you mentioned about the logic piece, right? Oh. When, you, when you give somebody a timeout, they stay dysregulated and they can't be logical. Mm-hmm. You think they might calm down. By giving them a time in, right, that person gets calmed down and now we can be a little bit more logical. Mm-hmm. So that was a good point. I just wanted to emphasize that. Um, but as we kind of wrap this up, Faith, are there any points that you would give folks and say, Hey, look, make sure you do this, this, and this. Um, I would say if you want to make time for people, 
do it. Don't doubt yourself on that because there are obviously a lot of people out there who want to share their story. So I would just say be an active listener. Listen to people's stories. Ask them questions about themselves before you start talking about your own stories and your own opinions and whatnot. Um, life gets busy. I would say make sure you're making time for people still mm-hmm. and try to find that balance as hard as it is. But it is okay to be vulnerable and it is okay to maybe struggle a little bit at first trying to like trust people, get open with that. So I know that's actually kind of a struggle for me that I've been working on, and especially this new year. I've been mm-hmm. trying to work on trusting people, being more open with how I feel. But um, I would just say make time for people. Time ends are important and connection is important. We're hardwired for it. So I would just say to make sure parents, if you're watching this, make sure you make time for your children and to make sure you listen to what they have to say because it's beneficial and I promise you it's worth it. And mm-hmm. yeah, that's it. That's all. Yeah. And you always say make sure um, you know how you're child ticks I yeah mean, I, I love when you say yeah. that but uh, I mean that that's your spin on it but I think that is good mm-hmm. advice to somebody uh, as well but I'll leave you with this quote as we wrap up thanks again for for thanks. being a guest I always love when you're on <laughs> um, uh, but is this from Margaret Me: children must be taught how to think not what to think and I, I think that's a good summation of what we talked about here again you'll be back I know you're going to be oh, back yeah. in March for for what we're doing in March. But that's all to, for today, folks. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a video, the video a like down and leave a comment in the comment section below. We'd also appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can get notified whenever we post next. And if you'd like more information, you can always visit us at centerforvictory.com and we always leave you with this. Wherever you're at, uh, whatever you're doing, make this your best, best day, day yet. yet. See ya.